G'day everyone, it's Wags here from Rotopix in Cairns, Far North Queensland. I've got my uh, HT FPV quad here, it's powered by NASA. Put my GPS on the back there, and underneath I put a 4S 4200 LiPo battery. Sits there nicely, and I get about 12 to 14 minute flight time. I've got a little GoPro 2 on the front there, and my little flight, control, oh, flight camera there. And in the arms, I got 30 amp speed controllers. I got a little video TX there, and just in here, I got a little 3S LiPo battery and that drives the flight camera and the video TX as I'm using a 4S battery, so too much power. I've got some carbon fiber props. Now, one of the things I wanted to do is using another, you can connect it to the Fataba THJ or T8J um, RX via SBUS, which is great. It's just uh, one plug to plug in the back of the NASA. But the problem that leaves is you can't plug extra things into the uh, spare channels of the RX. So what I did was I got in the NASA software, I turned on the gimbal, I set the gains at one uh, at zero, and I plug in F2 there, my little buzzer locator. So if I land in a tree or in the tall grass, I can flick a switch on my radio and off it goes. Makes it a lot easier to find it. And also if I turn the VR knob, it'll do the same thing. So that's a neat little workaround. If you're using a NASA and you want to do the F2 port and you've connected it to the uh, Radio RX via SBUS. Now, of course, on the radio, I've got my home lock button here, control here, and I've got my uh, GPS, ATI, and manual, and also I've assigned this button here for return to home and land. So that's about it. So I'm pretty happy with the little quad, and we'll go for a fly tomorrow, and we'll post some more video. Thanks for watching.